All right, hey guys, welcome in. Today have I got a present for you. Literally, I have a present for you that we are going to draw step by step right here. We're gonna make a little 3D, so I got my dice to make a 3D cube just kind of like that. Start with some simple shapes and concepts and then kind of get it a little fancy. I'm gonna go right here in the middle of the paper, going up and down. I'm gonna start with a line from the top to the bottom. That'll go right here. As that will go a little bit out to one side. Follow that same way, going the other way. And opposite, going the opposite way. Let's prop this up a little bit so we can get a good view. And nice, so now we got kind of these lines going to this side, this side going parallel over here out to the side. Again, I'm kind of starting out lightly in case I get a little bit nervous. And then we're gonna connect going down on this side, down on this way. And then this will start to eventually kind of go over towards this way, the same kind of way as this side goes, this side has to go the same way as this side goes over here, this way has to go. I think once you kind of get that or understand that concept, um, then it starts to look a little bit more 3D. So I'll go over that a little bit darker now. Good, it kind of fits right in between there. So now we don't need this. So now in the middle, maybe from, maybe about a finger's width up from there, you can put a dot. That's where the um, center part of the bow is going to go. Kind of a curvy line, and then it bumps up around. From that side, a line is gonna go out to this way, and an opposite one over here, out to that way. And then right down from there, nice and straight. Just like that middle part is gonna go straight down there from here, straight down here. Again, I'm starting off a little bit lighter. And then for the ribbon, you wanna make about a parallel line about that size, maybe a finger's width. And then same thing over here. It gets a little bit tricky as it connects, as it's going up over here. Now we want to start to get that loop or that bow. It kind of curves in the middle like a V and then goes really, really wide out here and then kind of comes back. So same thing on the other side, really, really wide out there and then dips back in that center. Uh, this just makes it look a little bit more authentic as a ribbon that kind of twists uh, we'll do it like a skinny, almost like an eyeball kind of shape in the middle. And once it hits that point, that's where it kind of looks like it kind of loops or twists. So I'll do that same thing. Kind of put a point in the middle and then it curves down and really skinny, like a skinny football almost. Nice, right, so we're looking good. We'll clean up some of those lines. We'll start going over it in Sharpie. I'm just gonna add a little bit as it goes over here. It kind of crosses in here and you don't really see too much of it because it's like kind of right at that little cross or right at that curve, but you do see a little bit behind the bow and that makes it look a little bit more realistic. So I'll go over all this in Sharpie and clean it up and start thinking about what color and what I want to do um, for my background. Do that real quick. Awesome, now now I'm excited to see how it's gonna turn out when I color it and design it, put it under a tree, who knows what I'll do with it. But let's make a little magic happen. Just like, boom! Get that, I added my present, colored it all, and, and did a little background. I was kinda thinking to think of a tree skirt, but it almost took turned out to be like an island with water. So whatever works for you guys, you guys do whatever that you can. I tried to add a little shading and value on it to make it look more realistic and had some fun with the background. So hopefully you guys had fun. And as always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's Archives. We'll talk to you guys later.